Hi everybody, welcome back to the Whimsical Librarian. And tonight I wanted to share a lot of stuff with you. So um, I wanna tell you about what's going on. We actually got my DVD or my videos. Um, I created them, I did them all. I put them on here and I hit the wrong button and it deleted them. So I'm doing them fresh because I believe freshness counts. Um, currently I'm reading the book. Um, let me get it to you. <clears throat> Sometimes this doesn't happen. Anyhow, as I'm sitting here waiting, I have been suffering with cold and I cannot get rid of it. So I'm going to the doctor tomorrow. The book that I'm currently reading is Tis the Season to Get Married. It's the second part of um, Mingle All the Way by J.P. Sterling. If you've not read one of her books, you must go and do that. Um, as you can see, I'm decorated for Christmas and we're going to do a Christmas tour here in a little bit. But I wanted to show you uh, just the couple books that I'm going to be reading for Christmas. This is my Christmas TBR. And I say when it's Christmas TBR, it means like it's really Christmas. I'm sorry if my voice goes bad because I cannot get it to stop squeaking like that. So, here are three I'm planning on reading. So, we are currently reading Tis the Season to Get Married. So, that's one. Um, the second one is called The Christmas in Winter Hill. And this is a cute book and this is by Melody... Carlson. Um, you could get it for $16.99 somewhere, but um, I'm sure you can get it at Amazon and probably cheaper now. Um, so the one I got one more to show you before I show you the one I've been really waiting on. Um, so this is the Rianne Thine Sleigh Bells Ring. I've been waiting all year for this one. I actually got a copy of it in um, July or August. <clears throat> and I am so excited to read it. I am, I know I'm going to love it because it's got a song and I was going to do a challenge for December, but I felt like I shouldn't since I've been sick. So this is the book, Sleigh Bells Ring. It's a gorgeous book. And um, it retails for $16.99 also, but you might be able to find it somewhere cheaper. So the last book that I'm planning to read for December, only because I have lots going on starting next week, is The Christmas Dress by Courtney Cole. This is the book that I've waited a long time to get. Um, it, I don't even know what it sells for, but... Um, oh, I guess it sells for $16.99 also, but I was really excited to get this one as a woman who loves to hear fantasies, not really fantasies, but fairy tales and, um, just think about her childhood. Uh, I couldn't imagine the story not being in my TBR. So this is called, uh, The Christmas Dress and it's the story of, of one dress, two women and the magic of the holiday season. So I'm excited for that. Um, there's a couple things I want to show you while I'm on here. And that is that I got a brand new bookcase that is very gorgeous. And uh, I'm still working on getting it all detailed because it's not all put together yet. But um, I wanted to just show you around the room and give you like a little um, office slash reading area uh, tour. And so here we go. We're just going to go right here at my Christmas tree. And this is my Christmas tree this year. This is a pile of books I haven't went through yet. So, yes. And then over there are all my Bibles and all my reading materials for my Bibles. But I'm not going to go into that tonight. And then behind me is uh, Mr. and Mrs. Santa, which was my mom and dad's when I was a kid. So I requested that. And then my theme for this year is um, rose gold and green and silver so that's the whole point of the room here but when it came to my bookshelf I didn't want to buy a new swag and I, I didn't want to spend any more money on it so I decided to do traditional which is gorgeous I mean hello 
was not gorgeous about that. So I want to tell you about that. I also want to tell you about um, some of the things I'm thinking about for 2024. So I don't know if you knew this or not, but <coughs> oh, I did read one other book. Um, I read Miss. Um, I read for November. I read Mingo All the Way by J.P. Sterling. I read The Mistletoe Countess by Pepper Pichon. And I read, I'm trying to see if I got it right here. There's one more book, and I don't remember what it was called. Oh, The Christmas Prayer. So The Christmas Prayer, I read every year, whether I need to read it or not. I got it a couple of years ago um, after my papa passed away. And I just fell in love with this book and it reminded me of something that just needed to be brought into my heart. Um, there's another book that I really love for Christmas time and it's a series by Debbie McComer and it's the series of the angels. Um, Mercy, Shirley, and I can't think who the other woman is or the other angel is, but they go down to different families and they, they, um, solve issues with those families. So the one I have is called Where Angels Go. So I really love that book. When I when my papa passed away back in 2010, I really needed a book to get me distracted. And that book just melted my heart. And like, it almost healed me. I mean, I'll never be completely healed from losing my papa because he was one of the best things that ever happened to me besides God and um, my family and stuff. But my papal man, he would um, tell people that I would do things and they didn't think I would like when I was younger. Um, I was born with a whole bunch of difficulties. Let's just call it that. And one of the difficulties was that my legs wasn't working right and they didn't think I'd ever walk. So my papa said, oh, yes, she will. You, she'll walk, and I guarantee you she'll walk. And I think that was his faith in God that made that happen. Because when I was able to get out of the casts and stuff that I wore for a long while, I actually took my first steps to him. I walked to him. And so that was a blessing. And I am just excited that how God is using me and in this life today. Um, so a couple things I want to talk about was, and I'm going to be doing a video on this, so I'm not going to share my new one or nothing. This is my 2023, um, reading log. And so what I decided to do is I would, I decided I would share it with you. So there is nothing fancy here. There's honestly, I just tried to decorate a little bit, but I don't know if it works. Um, I found this poem and it says, reading is an adventure filled with imagination and creative creativity. Relax and join in the fun. I love that because I'm all about doing things the easy way. And then here is my book code, my color code for my books uh, last this past year and a year at a glance. So there's those pages. Um, I also read The Christmas Secret, and I see now that my other two books were not put down for November, which really stinks because, you know, um, Christmas prayer. Sometimes we're going to do this thing, kind of thing on the fly. And Mistletoe Countess. Okay, so I read one, two, three, four, four books for this past month, and I put none on my TBR for December because I knew they would all be Christmas, and I was just going to kind of do them as I felt, and then I decided, no, I'm not going to do that. I want to not mark it down until I've actually read it, so after that is um, Well, let's see. Maybe look at this. January, February, 
March, April, and for March and April, uh, for March through May the 30th, I did a reading challenge with my daughter. So if she read, um, eight books, I would buy her a new book. So she didn't pass the thing. And I think I got in one, two, three, four, five. Looks like I got in five. I would have got in six, but I never finished the one. So can't do that one. Um, <clears throat> May and June is just quick um, how I did it. Make sure I have plans to do it a little bit differently. And I'm not going to show you the rest of the month because there's nothing really new there. Um, to be read. These are books that I wanted to read but did not get to. Um, this was just some fun art stuff and it says relax into a book. This next page is a poem I found. And you know how I talk about my grandpa a lot and he loved birds. So I got him this little um, bird paper. And it says, close your eyes, take a breath, inhale the calmness, exhale the stress. Make a cuppa, sink into a chair, pick up a book, and disappear. I love that. And I will probably put that in every reading log I ever have. So my summer reading program that I wanted to do was, and I've read these books, um, was A, Stub a Stubborn Heart by Becky Wade, In Search of a Princess by... Um, Tony Shiloh, The Rescuer, The Rescuer, and Three Fridge Hens, and Three Men and Maybe. Those were all Kindle books, so I don't remember who read who wrote them. Um, a book a day keeps boredom away. I truly believe that. And then I just have like where I want to put my wish list in here. And I didn't do too much with this book because we had so many things going on. Um, then I books that I read with my daughter were all here so yeah um then I, oh and then I had a TBR that I wanted to do with my best friend and she did not we did not finish it so I'm gonna mark that one for next year so this one says goodbye 2023 and the best reads I'm gonna be marking down my best reads for uh, what I read this past year. So, um, the first two was My Stepbrain Heart and The Lady's Mind by Francine Rivers. That was amazing. And then I'm going to put in, I was doing my pre-goals in here. So I have some pre-goal stuff. Um, so I'll be doing a video on all the things I have book related, um, for my new journal, which is right here. I think this is the one I'm going to have. I'm not really sure because I saw another one I really loved. And yeah, I don't know yet. I'm not a big fan of the color dark blue, but I think it's just me. So I can QC that up and make it something different. So as I begin my holiday reading and started thinking about Christmas and all that, there's a couple books that I'm going to be reading that are... <clears throat> nonfiction. So that's why I only picked those four books to read. Um, do I think I will read all four of them? Probably not because December I do a bucket list with my, my daughter. And now that I have a granddaughter too, it's going to be like, I, I want to do more family stuff, but coming in January, probably the end of December, we're going to have the next uh, TBR for 2024. We're also going to go over the new book that I do for my library log, for my book log, and some recommendations for people to grab books, like um, some things that, some books that I didn't think I would like, but I actually fell in love with. Um, I'm hoping to get a couple um, new releases this coming year and do a review on them. Um, I have a lot that I would love to do this year and, um, the year is almost up. So next year is going to be a full year, I believe. Um, I, like I said, I've been sick and I go to the doctor tomorrow and I'm praying that like they can figure out what's going on with my throat and why I'm sick still and 
I've already had a set of antibiotics and everything, but I just need something else to take, kill the cough. Nighttime is the worst, and um, I've tried home remedies. I've done the uh, oils. I've done cough syrup. I've done test on pearls. I've done everything that I could think of without totally drying me completely out. I've been drinking tons of water, trying to get my water in, and um, normally if I stop drinking the water, I truly cough. Um, so I'm going to be re um, doing some journaling this winter, and I'm going to be doing it in this cute little journal I got, and I thought if I did this for Christmas, like a Christmas journal, like do something every day in the month of December, maybe even go through January. I don't know yet, but I thought this would be a great way to remember what happened and stuff like that. So I'm getting started on that a little late, you know, it's only what, like the fourth, I think of December. So I have four days to make up one, which most of them honestly are six days. So there's not much going on there, but I do have a bucket list for Christmas or for winter or whatever for Christmas. Yeah. And hopefully we will be getting more into weekly and even a couple weekly videos. I'd like to do at least one short a week and, um, I'd like to do one Bible reading event a week and one book release thing a week. So well, let's get started and start, start looking around, setting some goals of what you would like to read for 2024. If there's a book that you think that I should read or one that you think would go with my kind of books, which are nice, clean, and sweet, romantic. Um, I do some fiction, like uh, historical fiction. I like historical fiction. I like a little bit of um, country vibe, like almost Western, but not completely Western. I am going to be reading a book starting January 1st and it's called, and then I don't know what it's called. So thank you for watching. God bless you. And we'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe. Bye.